Zebra Herd, welcome back to Wargroove. And today we're moving on to the final and third side mission for act two. Now I, I've talked to you guys about it last episode, adjusting the difficulty, I'm gonna do it. Um, all I'm gonna do is lower the, the damage received. Let's say to 75 for now, if I can. Uh, apparently my choices are between 72 and 76. Uh, we'll do 72 then. And I know of course I'm only gonna be able to get one star permission, but I'm only getting one star permission anyways. Might as well just make it a little bit easier for me and just be able to do that, right? So, uh, act two, side three, River Bonnie making friends. Having just met, Nuru and Mercy decide to teach each other's, or to test each other's metal. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I can't talk correctly. You know, our scouts pick up a lot of information. I have heard you're a pretty good fighter. Yeah. I forgot how I did her voice. I've been training my whole life. When I was young, I always liked fighting. But those fights weren't real, nothing was at stake. Hmm. Now I only fight when I have to because it's my duty as queen. I've been training my whole life too. You know, there's nothing wrong with enjoying something you're good at. That's what Florin do. Back home, things are different like you wouldn't believe. Forget tin men and horses, we hunt monsters, huge monsters. <laughs> huge monsters. And iron swords, ha, <laughs> we use blasters. A single blaster would sort out this whole mess. Huh? Blasters? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll put friendly battles just for fun. Hmm. For fun? Like old times. <laughs> okay, you better be ready. Here I come. Awesome, let's see what you're made of. All right, so it looks like we're fighting, and this one, oh, this one's like super small. Hey. This is interesting. I'm not gonna hold back just because we're friends. <laughs> no holding back, deal. To defeat Nuru. This is very bizarre. Uh, it's just super small. I like the idea. So let's take a look at Nuru fast. Uh, the visitor to the lands of the foreign tribes is a strong, clever, and spirited hunter. Oh, so she's not even from here. She's a she's a visitor even here. Interesting. Um. So yeah, let's figure this out. Um, I'll do what I can. Got it. And let's get you here. I definitely want to get these guys together. Oh, we got the mutts again. That's good. The normal dogs. We'll have them move with uh, Mercia for now. And ooh, we have you out this way. I'm gonna have you go around like this. It's so weird, I'm trying to figure out a good strategy for this tiny map. Hmm. We'll try that for now. Turn one. I like her music so far. I don't know what her war groove move will be, but I guess we'll find out as we go along. I mean, having a really close quarter map might be helpful for our war groove move, which is the heal, so. For now, I'll go ahead and have you hit for 63, which would be amazing. And then we'll also have the other mutts come in and finish mm -hmm. them off. Uh, those are some interesting looking dogs. Quagmuts, quagmuts, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're clever as they look. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't know if they exactly look clever. Oops. Uh, I clearly shouldn't have let my guard down when battling a warrior queen. Uh... Warrior queen, I'm not really... <laughs> Hey, you don't need to be so humble. Okay, interesting. Uh, keep these guys moving forward for a little bit. Maybe I'll do a bit of that. And then if I could get this guy around here would be good, protected by the mountains for now. Who should I attack and from where? I guess from here is fine. 45, ooh, I definitely wanna hit 45 on a, uh, on one of the, uh, what, are, what are they called? Uh, green guards. Trying to remember everybody's name. Not easy for me to do. Okay, so let's see what she does. Turn two for her. She seems pretty cool though. I love her multicolored hair. Oh boy, that hurt. And then we got these guys attacking the mutts, which is sort of a shame. So we're taking damage, they're taking damage. Uh, I'm the only one, or they've, they're the only one who've lost a unit so far. If we keep on taking advantage of criticals, hopefully we can keep things going in our advantage, but now things are getting a little nasty. Uh, and they're gonna take care of the mutts. So there you go, we've just lost our first unit. But our units got really lowered there when it comes to a lot of things. So mm. we have to be careful. I'd better be more careful. Whatever works for you, careful's not my style. You seem like the type to dive in head first. <laughs> you got that right. Okay, so, oh, and here she comes. No, not that. Okay, I thought that was actually the primary unit or the, the commander. I mean, that still stinks because I was gonna land a critical with those. But at least we can attack back a little bit. Okay, here she comes. Uh, turn three. Got a couple of options here, and my first one I'm gonna take advantage of. We can go for 35, six, 28. 
Because the idea is to defeat Nuru herself. Ah, uh, see, if I was full, I think I would have been able to get rid of that unit. Let's attack from here then. And then maybe somebody can get rid of them, because that's still worth my time to do. I'll do 7%, 2%. Hmm. This'll, oh yeah, this is a critical because we're right next to the commander. Let's do that one. And then moving over this way, that would do 50, this would do 54. I think I would like to keep inching these units out, but with that archer over there, it's sort of deterring me. So I think I'll move these guys back for now. Um, huh. Trying to think about how I want to do this. Might want to move the dog back for now, just to be safe. That would do 40, that would do 18, that would do 31. Which unit could I take out here? Really not any of them, for now. But if I do this, I won't fail. hopefully she won't actually fail. Uh, let's do that, and get rid of those units as well. So I think we have the advantage right now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sort of seems like it, that might not last. The best way to find out is to hit you like this. All right, so with that done, yep, it's gonna be her turn. This is much easier than the previous side mission. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is my fight. I don't know about that. Ha, yeah. Oh, yikes. I got rid of him. Uh, but this is still pretty cool. And what do we got going on this way with these two? I mean, is this just gonna be a super quick side mission after the previous one took me an hour? Because it really may be that way, and I'm gonna be super bummed that that's the case. Uh, and these guys are gonna attack. That's not gonna be good. So she seems to like, you know, counter us pretty well so far. I was gonna try to keep earning up our groove and hopefully we can use it to heal a lot of units. That'd be great. I mean, a lot of them are getting take taken out right now, which is a big problem. We're still only 60% with that. Um, Trying to think about what's best here. It's really hard to decide. Uh, I know it's gonna get rid of them, but might be my best bet. But even this, like, it's hard for me not to just have to brute force it, you know? We can do this, 116 is still some good damage. And then... Just try that, that's 15. Huh. All right, I can do 72 to them, it might be worth it then. Brace yourself! Okay, oh, that got rid of him, actually. We'll do 16 or 60, let's do 60. Just like that. It's something. And can't quite finish them off. Who can we do the most damage to? You guys, well then that's what we'll do. Even if it gets rid of this guy, it's my best bet. So at this point, they have the advantage, I think? We have four units, they have four units. So actually, it's quite even. I can't wait. Okay, well, it looks like she's just going in with the attacks, which is actually really bad. We're about to lose. <laughs> no. Ah, I'm so bad at this game. It's fine, it's fine. It's it's really tough. It's a really not easy game. Okay, well, there goes that. We're down to 2%, but this is where things might actually become advantaged for us, is that I can, I can move over there. What would be smarter for now is to do this, and then to go like this, do 22%. I'm gonna show her what we're made of. Uh, hmm. I could finish this one off. Let's go ahead and finish that one off, because honestly getting rid of the archers would be great, and then we can use our healing aura and hopefully heal everybody up a ton. 100% maybe? <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, oh, it doesn't heal her. Oh, no, it did. It got her up to eight. Oh, teleport beam. What does this do? It just teleports in a new unit? Oh, come on, baloney. I did not need that right now. I mean, luckily we'll be able to hit back pretty decently. Oh, that guy, oh, we didn't get, ta get take out that guy, yikes. Okay, this sinks right now. Um, but we can make things work for sure. I can at least attack you guys like that. And then this is actually a really great combo. This is where we can make things work. We can hit you for 90. And this is where I really like the Spearman being really, really helpful. Uh, hit you for 20. And then let's get up close and personal with, uh, Nuru here. Oh, hoo, hoo, Nuru, you've made a mistake. Back. There we go, turn six. Of course, the archer's gonna move a little bit closer, but it won't make too much of a difference. 
All right, Nuru's hiding. Okay, so hit her for 22%, just like that. Okay, let's watch it. Boom. Oh, we're about to win this. You hit back a little bit as well. She's so cool, I like her. Um, Neither of these guys are gonna be able to attack this turn. We can at least get you set up like that and then move you in as well. Okay, next turn is ours, we're winning. In 10 minutes. <laughs> why, why is it this one so short comparatively? Okay, so for this. This is my fight. Um. All right, well, anybody can do it. Just go ahead and, and do that. It's just you and me now. All right, we win. Huh. I did it. I did it. <sighs> Phew, that was a tough one, even without your blaster thingy. Huh. Wow, I'm really impressed with your skills. Huh. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I might have learned a thing or two from you. I've trained for so long, but this war with Felheim. A real battle is so different. I just hope I don't let anyone down. Huh. I've been, look, I've been in some pretty wild fights in my time, but I wouldn't want to be your enemy for anything. Thank you. Thank you, Nuru. That means a lot coming from you. Aw. Did, did you learn to fight growing up in the Gloomwoods? <laughs> no, actually, I joined the Gloomwood tribe pretty recently. So where do you come from? It's a long story. <laughs> it, needs a, it needs a campfire and a marshmallow to tell it right. Let's go. Sounds good to me. But for now, we better get going. Alrighty, well, we got ourselves a new friend, and that is awesome, and we got victory, yes! And it's the scene. Who's really surprised? But it's better than an E. Last episode, we can now play Nuru in the arcade. You've unlocked additional lore about Nuru. So honestly, this might be a perfect opportunity. I don't wanna go and do act three in this episode just yet. Um, so I think that, you know what, we're pretty early in the episode. Maybe I'll spend the rest of today's episode. We'll still probably keep it a short one. But I've been meaning to learn about some lore about some characters. Whatever we have available, I've just been wanting to learn about it and sort of see what goes into it. I'm at least for some of the characters that are sort of actively going on here. We'll have to read through it, I think, again at some point. Um, but I just want to read like the opening page for each character. Uh, the Mercy must find her find her feet as a new ruler of Cherry Stone. Her inexperience counteracted somewhat by her commitment, loyalty, and compassion. She's a talented commander and a natural leader, though she still needs guidance and support from her friend and tutor, Emmerich, who is right here. Emmerich is an immensely powerful mage, well-versed in arcane lore. He's a scholar, and his knowledge alongside his tactical know-how and compassionate wisdom have made him an indispensable advisor to the Cherry Stone throne. Beyond that, he is kind of, if reserved, individual who cares fiercely for the late King Merciful and his daughter Mercia. Caesar, a magnificent and majestic canine, Caesar leads armies with wordless dignity. His mere presence is enough to inspire and guide troops through battle. How cool is that, Valder? Valder is the ruler of Felheim, a wielder of the Fel Gauntlet, a combination of keen intellect, con consummate martial skill, and potent magics make him a singularly capable and intimidating foe. Then we got Ragna, who we're all too familiar with. Creating, created by Valder to be the ultimate commander, Ragna is the patchwork assembly of the best parts of history's greatest warriors. Oh, I didn't realize that. She strives to be the baddest she can be. She is Queen Mercia's dedicated adversary. So she's sort of like a Frankenstein. I just thought she was all scarred up. No, that's weird, but interesting. Sigrid, who we saw in the prologue, Sigrid is a high vampire, an ancient being of prod prod prodigious power. Prodigious power. She serves Valder, Lord of Felheim, and his, and he considers her his most reliable subordinate. Subordinate, like the icy water or wastes of her homeland, Sigrid is cold and brutal. Greenfinger, Greenfinger Zawan is brave and wise, an experienced elder who rules the Florin with strength and compassion. He has the ability to produce and manipulate plants at will by invoking the powers of nature, an ability uncommon even among the Florin. We got Nuru, who we just fought, a young Florin, but technically not a Florin. <laughs> a young Florin and a talented hunter and fighter, Nuru is lively, intelligent, and courageous commander whose, whose skills are out of this world. <laughs> And then we got Sedge. This sinister Florin is a bloodthirsty and sadistic individual who thrives on the fear of others. A skilled hunter and pra practiced killer, Sedge considers any creature that is not Florin to be prey. And then we got some characters that we haven't met yet, so I don't want to spoil myself. But there you go, we read some of that. I mean, at this point, I don't know if we want to read too much more. I mean, we'll probably dive deeper in some of the lore once we know more about the game, because there's a lot of cool stuff here that we've not seen yet. So yeah, that's been a lot of fun. I know it's a short episode, but hey, a lot of these episodes have been pretty long. I wanna keep it to like one mission an episode, especially if it would be like this mission and then a new 
uh, act. I'd rather just leave that for the next episode. So yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Wargroove. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment New Ru Zebra so I've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now. Or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.